Game Theory Part 3. In this webcast, we illustrate the difference in finding the solution concept in simultaneous move games versus sequential move games. Simultaneous innovation rates with high versus low R&D investment costs. Let us revisit the above innovation rates between two firms, Philips and say Sony S, but yet in another strategic contest. If both firms invest, they end up in a market share battle with a negative payoff now. So the payoff changes. Suppose now that firm P has an edge in developing the technology, although it has limited financial resources at the time. In a simultaneous move game, competitor S may take advantage of this resource weakness and try to win the race to the market. Consider the payoffs of firm P and firm S. The worst scenario for firm P and firm S is a market share battle, in which both firm a high effort or a leader strategy. In this case, both firms have a negative payoff of min minus 100. The next worst scenario of firm P or firm S is follow a low effort strategy while its rival follows a high effort strategy. In that case, they lose the market share battle for this technology. From, e, from P, will in a low uh, effort strategy receive 10 million, and from S, we also receive in a low effort strategy 10 million in case its rival makes a high effort strategy. The best scenario for from S is become a leader while its rival follows a low effort strategy. Over here. And the best scenario for from P is when both follow a low effort strategy over here because it has limited financial resources at the time. Now we're going to see how we can solve this simultaneous move game. As noted, we can apply rule 1. Let's try to find dominant strategies. Consider the low effort strategy of firm P. That's the upper row. The payoff for firm P with a low effort strategy dominates the payoff of a high effort strategy. 200 is larger than 100, and 10 million is larger than minus 100 million. So independently whether firm S chooses a follower or a leader or a high effort strategies, Low effort strategies always has a higher payoff than a high effort strategy for from P. It can also apply rule 2 or eliminate the dominated strategy. That's this one. Knowing that from P always chooses the lower effort strategy, from S can choose whether to follow a follower or a leader strategy. Because 200 is larger than 100, from S chooses the high effort strategy or the leader strategy. And we end up here in the upper right cell where from S has the highest payoff and from P has the second worst payoff, 10 mil. Now consider the equilibrium implications if we change the game to a sequential move game. In a dynamic or sequential game, a player can choose a strategy after observing its opponent's actions. So consider a similar situation as a simultaneous investment race but with the difference that from P would make its R&D investment before from S and thereby can influence from S strategy. Now the threat of a market share battle could actually work in from P's favor. So we can solve this game by applying rule 5. So we're looking at the future consequences of each action. First, if from P follows the low or follower strategy, firm S will reply by either a high leadership strategy or a follower strategy. With the leadership strategy, firm S would receive 200, while with a low effort or follower strategy, it would receive 100. So in this case, firm S would react with a high effort strategy or a leadership strategy. Now consider the consequences if firm P chooses to make a high effort or leadership strategy. Firm S would respond either 
with a high effort or leadership strategy, but then that would result in a market share battle with a payoff of minus 100. In this case, firm S is forced to follow a low effort strategy because 10 million is higher than minus 100 million. So in that case, the threat of a market share battle works actually in firm P's favor. Now we can solve the optimal strategy for firm P. It receives either 100 million or it receives 10 million. In this case, the equilibrium strategy of firm P is follow the leadership strategy and then firm S has no other option to follow the low effort strategy with an equilibrium payoff of 110. So if we change the game from a simultaneous to a sequential move game, we can see that from P can use its timing to its advantage and change the equilibrium outcome of this game. This example is also known as burning the bridges, referring to the example where two armies want to occupy an island that's connected by a bridge. If one army occupies the island and burns the bridge behind them, its rival can try to occupy the island, but it will result in a very intense battle. So there is no other option than leaving the island to its rival. In the economic situation, the context is similar. By making an irreversible commitment for from P for the high effort or leadership strategy by investing, from S has no other option than either leave the market to his rival or go to an intense battle. While the intense battle results to a negative payoff for both of them, it will leave the market to its rival.